Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at a knife, of course. You can see it right here on the table. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my friend Dirk Warning for sending this over for us to check out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. If you're at all interested in knives, uh, check him out. He has a ton of videos on knives. And also he talks about watches too. Uh, speaking of watches, decided to put this watch on because it kind of... Um, relates to this knife, I guess. This has some exotic materials and so does this knife. So the first thing you immediately notice about this knife is it is super lightweight. So um, I recently had some friends and family over and I would set it on a table and I would say, hey, pick up that knife. So they kind of had an idea what was going on and they would pick it up and uh, just like me, amazed at how light it is. I actually first saw this knife about Six months ago, uh, Dirk and I met at a, uh, a watch meetup, and he just had a bunch of knives sitting on the table, so I would just go and, you know, pick them up, look at them, pick them up, look at them, and I picked this one up, and I'm like, holy cow, and then he laughs, and he says, that's what everybody says, because this thing is just, it's amazingly light, so we'll uh, keep talking about the weight of this knife, because like I said, that's the first thing you notice, so if you're uh, at home or wherever you are, and you get a handful of, well, four AAA batteries. These four AAA batteries weigh the same as this knife, but they still feel heavier, if that makes any sense. They're the exact same weight, but it feels heavier. Uh, if you don't have AAA batteries, grab two AA batteries, and it's the same weight. So, the thing with this is you expect uh, this to be a certain weight. And this one here, this knife, you just pick it up, and it's, again, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, it's mostly carbon fiber. Does have titanium um, liner lock here, titanium hardware, uh, titanium um, bearing housings, and then it's got ball bearings in here. I'm not taking this knife apart or anything like that, but um, I will leave a link in the description to this company. It's VC Edge Knives, and I think he has some pictures there um, of the knife disassembled. This is the 2022 edition. He just recently had a pre-order uh, for the 2023 version, of which there will be 55 knives. And the price for those, uh, the new edition, is $1,100. I went on my computer, I was on that website, I was had my finger on that mouse button to, to purchase, to buy now, and I'm like, nah, I, I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm got too many watches, not really much of a knife guy, so uh, again, I really appreciate Dirk sending this over. For me to uh, carry and uh, play with a little bit here. Uh, it's just amazing how this thing is put together. The owner of the company uh, was a, well I guess he still is, but he's a mechanical engineer in the aerospace field. It looks like he did that for about 13 years and then I think he quit doing that to start his own company uh, building these knives. He, I'm sure he does other stuff too, but yeah these things, just an engineering marvel. So let me show you some other knives. Um, this knife here I've carried for maybe 10 years. The, the finish is made like this, so it's not for me wearing on it. But um, So this knife here is the CRKT Ripple, Ken Onion Ripple. And it weighs 2.6 ounces. And this knife again, I don't think I mentioned it, this knife is 1.6 ounces. So again, a whole ounce lighter, and it's uh, a larger knife. but now with this knife here, you, you kind of expect it to weigh about what it weighs. This has aluminum scales, and of course a steel blade. Uh, all knives have steel blades, I think. But anyway, um, 2.6 ounces. So then fairly recently, I started getting into knives a little bit more. I'm not trying not to get into it too much, but uh, I bought this knife. This is a pair of three lightweight, and this is 2.4 ounces. So lighter than that ripple, it has, you know, I don't know if these scales are some kind of plastic. They're not G10. It doesn't really feel, I don't really like this knife. It, it Yeah, it's lightweight, but the, the balance is off. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, but I'm going to eventually buy a pair of three, the regular one. So 2.6 ounces, sorry, 2.4 ounces. And then this guy, again, is 1.6. I mean, even, I, I know it's going to be lightweight. Even knowing that, when I pick it up, it still, it still throws me for a loop. 
Uh, one more knife comparison, and then we'll get into the specs here. Uh, this is a knife I've been carrying a lot now. Uh, I think my top end for knives. Actually, I bought this one years, but um, this one weighs in at, I think it's 4.3, 4.2, somewhere around there. Let's call it 4.2 ounces, so, you know, more than twice the weight of this knife. I think this actually three times the weight. But um, I just like this one because you can open it uh, three different ways. This one here, you know, just a flipper, just like I'm used to. But ever since buying this Demco, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go with anything else. So let's talk about this knife a little bit more. It has a 3.6 inch blade, 3.6 inch long blade. It's uh, M90 steel is the cutting edge here. I, I'm sorry, M390. I don't really know what that is. I don't know that much about knife steels, but it is M390. Then it has a carbon fiber body, and from what I've been told, this knife, and it makes sense, this knife is skeletonized underneath this carbon fiber, so the carbon fiber is formed over the blade, and then he grinds the carbon fiber and the blade at the same time, so it's pretty seamless here. Like You, you can't feel a gap between the blade and the carbon fiber, so it's very well done, and this thing is super solid too. I, I just, in my mind, I keep thinking it's going to be flimsy and light. Uh, it's lightweight. I keep thinking it's going to be flimsy, but it's not. It, the knife is solid. It doesn't move at all. No play. Um, you, you can't squeeze the scale together like you think you would. And all of these are individually numbered. And you can choose, with the new version, you can choose between this type of carbon fiber or a more of a woven pattern, which you're probably what you're used to for carbon fiber this here looks like it's probably just i'm not sure he doesn't i'm assuming it's like layers and then you see this pattern because of the contour when he grinds it down i, I really don't know uh, but pocket clips titanium the lock here is titanium the, i guess it'd be a frame lock uh, hopefully you can see try and zoom in here but everything has been hollowed out on this knife that could possibly be hollowed out 1.6 ounces the new version is actually 1.5 ounces. I think he revised the um, frame lock somehow. But I, I encourage you guys to go look for pictures of this knife. Of this knife, I will leave a link in the description, like I said, to the website. You can probably uh, Google the images as well. But you can see everything in here is just hollowed out. I mean, it's just amazing. And then. The, I guess I'll call it a backspacer here, is hollowed out as well. If you can see with my lighting or not, but. Yeah, and then this pocket clip is reversible. So it looks like it's just held in with the one screw. And I'm assuming there's some kind of uh, nubs on here that would engage with one of these slots here. Yeah, I'm trying to think how that would be made reversible. Get the whole thing to flip over. You must have perhaps two screw holes in here. And maybe that's where the pin is, and then that's the other... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to take it apart or anything. I really appreciate Dirk sending this over. I don't want to mess up his knife. Um, and this does have a... kind of like a knurling to it. There's a texture to the scales and to the well you can see it on this titanium piece but this same texture is also present on the carbon fiber and then with that screw in there i believe that screw is probably to adjust the uh, depth of this frame lock piece here sorry i can't see what i'm talking about because this this feels super flush meaning this uh, frame lock is on the same plane as the scales here so when you run your finger across you don't feel a difference in the height between these it's just so cool uh, i kind of regret not pre-ordering one but i don't know I've, I've i'm really focusing on the watches trying not to get too 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 far in the weeds with the knives okay let's zoom back out here and we'll talk about the specs so as I mentioned oh sorry one more thing with the lightweightness of this uh, when you flip it open 
like you there's a detent in here so you're pulling on the flipper here to overcome that detent it's pulling pulling and then it just it flips out like like nothing so this one here is a flipper if i just pull it back to overcome the detent it doesn't actually flip all the way out you actually have to push back and flip it open this one here it almost just happens automatically because the blade is so light it doesn't take much uh, energy to fling it out so just overcoming that detent it just flings forward so yeah very cool okay let's get into the specs now like i mentioned 3.6 inch blade length uh, blade thickness is 0 0.164 inches does have those ceramic multi-roll ball bearings and then they're contained in titanium cages and even those titanium cages uh, those bearing uh, holders ball bearing holders even those things are hollowed out so it's anywhere you can save weight on this thing he saved weight on it and then he found another tenth of an ounce in the new version so the handle thickness is 0 0.48 inches as I mentioned carbon fiber and titanium handle the titanium blend mixture whatever you want to call it is 6AL-4V titanium the closed length is 4.84 inches 8.5 inches open and again 1.6 ounce weight uh, price for this knife was I think $875 and again the new version is $1,100 Maybe if the new version was the same price as this one, I don't know, I, I probably still wouldn't have bought it, but I would have been even more tempted than I already was. Then, let's compare it to the Para 3 for size. Um, like I said, I normally, I've been carrying this one. And that's the Demco AD 20.5. This actually has titanium scales, but they're so thick, it's, it's, it's a heavy knife. And nothing's been hollowed out on this one. Just a beast of a knife, but I really like it. So this is my um, attempt at a knife review. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it uh, entertaining or at least uh, informative. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. Uh, like I said, I normally cover watch content, but every once in a while I'll talk about knives. I still need to do a so-called review video for this one. Now, maybe one of these days, but yeah, again, really appreciate Dirk sending this out. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. And that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.